angry guy here, and foreign women are leaving black women homeless. Guys, help me get to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it. Like the video and turn on notifications. Never miss another video again. Now let's begin. So foreign women are leaving black women homeless. I have this video by Soraya. We didn't watch the entire video last time, just a tiny portion, so we're going to jump into it now. I thought a conversation about the really beautiful parts of men. A side of their money, a side of their... <laughs> oh no, throw the whole video, the whole message out already. I mean, ladies, is it possible for us to sit down and not mention our sexuality, the size of a man's wiener, or his bank account? I mean, can we even do something like that? See, I have seen this clip on one of Coach Greg Adams' shows, and I thought this is worth giving a closer look. So let's see what else Jesse has to say. Things that we are attracted to that don't get a lot of attention. And I know a lot of men are not going to listen to me or believe me, but when I tell you these attributes are so sexy. Number one is vulnerability. When a man can be honest about the trials and tribulations of life, how it made him feel, what he learned from it, how he grew, how he found resilience, how he's changed over time, and honestly and authentically articulate these things to his partner, to his friend, to his therapist, it is so fucking sexy. Is it? See, the problem with her statement is that nowadays, not a lot of women are patient enough or willing to stick by a man's side for a longer period of time in order for that man to actually open up towards a woman or even emotionally connect to her. A man is just not going to meet you and sit down and talk to you about all the things that he had went through, all the trauma that he has experienced, you know, the second or the third time you guys meet. It takes patience. It's not to handle like that sweetie i'm gonna have to disappoint you besides there have been so many men that have opened up towards a woman told her everything and all she would do is use that against him the first opportunity she gets whether if it's the first argument whether if it's the first time where she feels like she's not getting enough attention anymore whatever it is us women have the tendency to get mad and throw whatever the man has told us has trusted us with Throw it all into his face. Men usually don't talk about their traumas, not to their therapists, not to their partners, and not to their friends because they somehow had to learn how to deal with that on their own. I mean, growing up, you're a boy, you're growing up, you're being told that you are not supposed to show any weakness, that you're always supposed to be tough, and now you are a young adult, don't even know sometimes that you have went through some trauma because you were never allowed to speak about your emotions. So now you've got us women talking about, oh, I want my man to show his emotions towards me. I want him to open up towards me. He doesn't even know how to do that. I've been with my husband for 22 years and we have been married for 15 years. And trust me when I tell you that there are things that he probably has not told me about. You know, I don't even pressure him. If he's ready to talk to me about certain things, that's fine. And if he does open up towards me, sometimes I'm like, okay, wow, how am I going to deal with this situation? You know, just because of the simple fact that this topic is so sensitive to him and I have to make sure that my sensitivity level is on 120, just to make sure that I don't react to what he's telling me instead of responding to what he's telling me because I want him to feel comfortable with in any type of way possible. But what a lot of women don't understand nowadays is that for a man to open up towards you, ladies, you have to be in a relationship with this man for several years. I mean years. Besides that, you have to have empathy, patience, and communication skills. But hey, who am I to make that claim, right? Who am I? See, there are way too many single men and single women on social media platforms giving advice to people not even knowing what kind of work it takes. You know, when you make a statement, you have to know, what am I even talking about? You know, just like this woman said in the clip, she wants her man to open up towards her. Cool. Do you know what it takes though? It takes for him to trust you. It takes for him to show that you are, you know, reliable and that you're trustworthy in certain situations that you're keeping his secrets. You have to prove all of these things to him. He's not just going to open up towards you just because you think it is so effing sexy. Women are saying, tell us, talk to us, confide in us. We want to help you. We want to get to know 
the real you. How can we really connect if you don't let me in? I can't even take this seriously because this is the woman who started her video by saying, I want to speak about the beautiful aspect of a man besides his money and the size of his wiener. And now you are talking about that you want to get to know the real you? Are you serious? I mean, imagine she meets a guy and she finds out that he does not have a lot of money. He's good looking, but he does not have a lot of money. Do you really think that she would give him a minute out of her day to get to know the real him? Come on, come on. Next thing that I find, mwah, chef's kiss. I can't wait, please tell us. A man can just make a decision. It's not about how quickly he makes a decision. It's about how he thought about it thoroughly. He weighed the options. He looked at the pros and cons and he made the best decision for the moment. And once he has made up his mind, it's made. If that ain't masculine energy, I don't know what is, baby. No, actually that is called critical thinking. Thinking about the pros and the cons, about the consequences when you make a certain decision and being able to deal with the consequences and taking the accountability for your actions. That's what that is called, honey. Besides, masculine energy. Do you want to know what masculine energy is about? If that man that you are with would go to your TikTok page, tell you to take down all of those pictures where you're showing your cleavage, your booty, and all types of pictures that are so thirsty, a man actually sitting there telling you that you're going to dress accordingly, that you're going to stop showing your behind all over the internet and entertain other men while you are calling it women empowerment, that's what masculine energy is about and so much more but i wonder how long that relationship would last because a lot of women out there they put social media the likes the fire and the kissy emojis sent by sims and these delusional women over a healthy relationship with a man who knows what it takes to be a man you women are not ready for a relationship you don't even know how to dress right next thing is a man who cares about I always wondered why I had such a strong attraction to Malcolm X and revolutionaries and it's because they dedicated their life to helping others. It's so selfless and it's so sexy. A lot of men are inherently selfish. So when you meet a man who actually wants to make the world a better place and puts action behind it, oh, oh child, I'm ready to cook a Thanksgiving dinner every day of the week. Mm, mm, mm. The great Malcolm X, I know, right? But let me tell you one thing, honey, a man like Malcolm X would need so much more than just a Thanksgiving dinner every other day because Malcolm X's wife has been through some things that you and I couldn't even imagine. We would not last a single minute. Besides, that woman has followed that man's lead up until the moment he took his last breath. A lot of women nowadays, they don't wanna be told what to do, let alone in critical situations. They feel like men are not able to leave. But let's just imagine we put 10 women on an island and tell them to survive for 10 days. And then we take a group of men, put them on an island and tell them to survive for 10 days. I wonder who will come off of that island surviving the whole challenge. I asked my mother the other day, what trait would you say? Yeah, so that's enough of that. Guys, it's so crazy when you listen to how these women are going on and saying the things that they want in relationships, when in reality, those are the things that make them least attracted to a man. A man that constantly sits there and listens to all of the nonsense that they're spouting. They don't respect these men. They basically use these men as emotional tampons and then discard of them once they're done. You know, a man that opens up to them and tells them all of their insecurities. No, they're just going to wait until the man is at his lowest point and then throw all of that stuff right back in his face. Not only will it make them respect the man less, but it'll make the man make them less attracted to the man and give them only more ammunition to, you know, to make the man miserable with. That, guys, these women that are giving out advice in these videos, in reality, you have to remember that, you know, there's a reason why it's called a, you know, a war between the sexes, because it really is. You think your enemy is going to empower you? These women don't like us. These women want to tear us down. And when they make these videos, what they're really trying to do, what they're really trying to convey is that they want weak men. They want men who are mentally unstable, men who are emotionally unstable, men that are subservient, and men that will basically fall to their every women, continue, women conti and continuously validate them. These are not women that men should be messing around with. These are extremely manipulative individuals. As I've said countless times, if you want to find someone 
that actually cares about you, that's actually actually attracted to you, you need to go overseas. The, this woman started off the beginning of the video essentially saying that what she really, what women really want is a man making above six figures and with at least six inches. The, guys, the passport bros, passport kings constantly talk about this, all right? A woman wants a man who makes above six figures, has six inches, a six pack, I mean, come on, guys. That is at least six feet tall. You know, it's it's absolutely crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And 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 right and just starting off the video, these are the things that she references and trying to act like she's in the wall. When in reality, she's absolutely not. She's just basically playing the same game that a lot of other women play, and she thinks she's playing it better. Oh, that's so sexy when a guy opens up and tells me all of his insecurities. That's absolute nonsense. And let me tell you something about this as well. These women are deep in their masculine energy. They're talking about these are masculine traits. They're trying to tell men what it means to be masculine. No, these are no what you're describing is, you know, toxic feminist, toxic feminine female traits. And you're basically, you know, this is some single mother energy right here. But you, of course, a lot of these women were raised by single mothers, are single mothers, and are trying to spread that top that that single mother energy, you know, because a lot of them have that masculine energy inside of them. So they're here trying to sabotage men into believing that this is what women actually want, when in reality, this is what actually turns women off. This is what actually turns women off the most. Guys, you have to wake up and realize no one is going to come and save you. And these women are not going to give you solid advice. They're only going to tell you these things so that they could, you know, get you to continue to simp and and give up your power as a, as men. They they're not, they don't care about you. They don't want to empower you. They want to see you go down. They want to see you struggle in life. They don't want you to come up. Okay? Because if you come up, you if you become mentally aware of what they're doing and how they're manipulating you, then the then the jig is up. And let me and the thing about these sims is these sims will never change. Sims will sims will always be simping. Sims will always be simping. By the way, guys, some of you guys requested GTA footage. Let me know if you're liking the GTA footage. If you want to see more footage like this, or if there's any other kind of footage, gameplay footage, or people footage, or nature footage, let me know what you guys like. You know, I want to mix it up. I want to give you guys, you know, a good experience where you're trying to watch these videos. You know, I used to make content years ago that was, you know, very much more in line with the Migglypuff community. And I remember the Sandy man, like if you go and look at his channel, he's still making the same exact kinds of videos that he was making 10 years ago, 10 years ago. I've been on YouTube almost 10 years. This guy's making the same kind of videos that he was making 10 years ago. The thumbnails have barely evolved. He's still using like stills from videos from clip from uh, stills from uh, of, of like of pretty girls. And it's like, you know, I hate it works for you. And back then. That was higher quality than a lot of guys were doing because it was just voiceovers. But things have changed. And, like, you know, watch Mr. V's videos, and he says, you know, try to do at least one thing better, you know, every time you make a new video. And I try to, you know, at least do something better. Maybe not a new, maybe not one thing better every video, but at least every couple of videos, I try to, you know, look for different ways to improve the quality, the feel, the production, you know, the, you know, the way that things operate. So I want to know what you guys think if you're enjoying what I'm doing now. With these game with gameplay footage, mixing it up with you know nature nature footage, nature footage, what would make you guys happy? You know, what do you think would help increase the video experience? Let me know in the comments. But guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers so more people can get this message. Share the share the video on Facebook, share the video on Twitter, share it on social media so more men get access to this. More men can learn why it's so important that we walk away. Because we're walking away from like individuals like this in the, this woman who is basically trying to sabotage men. All right, sabotage men. They don't like to see us happy. They don't want to see us come up. They they want us to stay in a state of ignorance, in a state of misery, and in a state of destitution. Because they want to take our attention. They want to take our time. They want to take our money. They will give us nothing in return. And this is basically creating emotionally handicapped men that cannot think for themselves and cannot utilize critical thinking. Because when you're constantly stuck in a state of chaos, which is what women love, women women are constantly, they, they live their lives in chaos and crisis, and they thrive in chaos because that's just how their minds operate. You know, if, if there is no chaos, women create chaos in a relationship. You know, for example, if everything is going well to a woman in a relationship, 
a woman's brain tells her, nope, nope, we can't have this, can't have this. Bore, boredom is bad. Boredom is bad. We need to mix it up. It's better if everybody, if there's some chaos and anarchy happening here, because then that means that things are going well. And it's like, you know, she could be in a relationship where she has everything she needs. She's living in a great big house. She has everything in that house. She has a nice car. She has kids. She has everything that she could need, everything that she could want. And still somehow she wants more. This is the reason why men should never, ever, ever try to focus on making a woman happy. A woman has to make herself happy. And she, and at the same time, she should be working her butt off to create a an environment for you where you are happy and you feel peace because a man brings his value to the relationship. You are a provider and you're a protector. When you get there, when you meet the woman, you already have your value. On the other hand, a woman has to create value in the relationship. So who's the actual prize? The man is the prize. And you need to wake up and remember that, guys. Wake up and remember that you are the prize. All right. Don't be out here chasing these women. All right. Let them be out here searching for you. All right. They should be out here looking for you. You shouldn't be out here trying to chase them. They should be out here looking for you. Don't you ever forget that, Kings. Do you do not ever forget that? All right. Don't forget your value. What do you guys think regarding everything we discussed here today? Foreign women are leaving black women homeless. I want to know your thoughts in the comments regarding this. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.